Hi guys, welcome to Multiverse. Today we are going to take a look at John Fox, the future Flash. Uh, basically, John Fox was the, was the future Flash from the 27th century. Uh, and then later on, he became uh, the Flash from DC 1 million. DC, they had this big event called uh, DC 1 million, where they pretty much uh, had all their comics go like uh, 1 million issues in the future or something like that. And... Uh, this was the Flash that was featured during that event. It didn't feature just the Flash, it featured the Justice Legion A or something like that. Not sure what the A standed for, but anyway. Uh, but the Flash was, uh, John Fox was actually created within the pages of a Flash 100 pages uh, giant. I think it was like a Flash 100, 100 pages giant number one or something like that. And within that story, you had you had all the flashes that had existed at that point. And it was a short story with uh, Jay Garrick. Then there was a short story with Barry Allen. Then a short story with uh, Wally West, who was the the current Flash at the time. And it ended up with it, and it ended with a, a story with our friend John Fox at the very end of the of the comic. And throughout the whole book, they were all fighting the evil Mota. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what the actual name of the character was. It, I seem to recall it he was called the Mota at some point in the story. Uh, was it his name from the beginning? Or, because the, the character basically went from the, the 40s to the 60s to the 80s and then to the, <coughs> to the 27th century. And each time it was a different incarnation of the character. But it basically they all ended up fighting uh, the very same character during uh, that, that entire comic. And in the future, the Flash, uh, basically, uh, John Fox had to go back in time to try to, uh, at first he was trying to warn the other Flashes that they had to defeat Moda, otherwise it would sort of doom the future. But uh, throughout his travel through time, uh, to, to try to contact each uh, previous Flashes, that is how he ended up gaining his power, and he ended up becoming a, a speedster and uh, the latest uh, incarnation of the Flash. Uh, and in the first appearance, he was pretty much looking like that. So this is pretty much as close as I was able to get to our friend uh, John Fox. Uh, obviously, he shouldn't have the Indigo Lantern uh, emblem uh, on his forehead, but the call is, is pretty, pretty spot on for the call that the character was using at first. Uh, for the chest piece, there's a couple of uh, chest pieces that probably could do the trick. Here I went with the, I think this is a triangle chest piece. And for the gloves, uh, the, the, the slimline gloves uh, pretty much did the trick. Or I think it's uh, the thin slimline gloves or something like that. Of course, it's a Flash character. He has to have the Flash boots, come on. Although later on he wouldn't have the Flash boots. But early on, uh, pretty sure he, had, uh, he did have the Flash boots. And he had uh, pretty much a color scheme that uh, Jay Garrick had, the blue, red, and yellow, as opposed to only the yellow and, and red that uh, Barry Allen had. So he literally took inspiration from pretty much all the flashes that came beho before him. Then later on, when the next time we saw John Fox, it was like in the 90s, early 90s, I think, and he pretty much looked uh, like what we're seeing uh, right now. He came back with this like a blue, black and uh, and blue costume with some sort of a techno gloves. I have no idea if the gloves had any purpose or not, but as far as I recall, this is more or less how he kind of looked like. There's probably some better gloves that I could have tried to to use, but uh, these were close enough. Also, he had those like uh, tight high boots. Uh, these are about as close as I was able to get. If I could have some slimline boots that would go as high as those boots, that would be perfect. But other than that, this is uh, somewhat close to, to the look that uh, John Fox had at the time. You would, you could use uh, maybe some like, uh, he had these yellow triangles next to his ears. Some core kind of, I guess, modern version of the, the, the lightning bolts that Flash had uh, on his ears. The look wasn't bad, but it was pretty different from the, the previous Flash looks uh, that we were used to. I 
I tried to reproduce the look that he had in DC 1 million, and uh, sadly, it was pretty much an epic fail. He had this. Uh, he had a pretty much an asymmetrical costume that was a mixture of yellow and red, and uh, sadly, within the limitation of DC Universe Online, this is pretty much as close as I was able to get, which is nowhere near close to to what the the costume actually looked like. But uh, this kind of works to kind of evoke the the character. If you were to call the character, let's say John Fox or something like that. Most people would, most people familiar with uh, DC One Million would probably understand that you're recreating uh, the John Fox uh, Future Flash. So again, he was uh, a member of the Justice uh, Legion A. Again, uh, I don't recall exactly what the A actually stood for, but they were trying to come up with uh, a weird amalgam of uh, Justice League. Legion of Superheroes, and they were trying also to keep the JLA of the Justice League of America. So somehow they, they ended up uh, calling them the Justice Legion A, just to be able to, uh, to, to call it the JLA of the future, even though it wasn't exactly the Justice League. I guess this could be another option to try to recreate uh, something like the future John Fox, the, the future Flash. Again, it doesn't really look like the character, but uh, with the, the the speedster electric motif, uh, again, if you were to call it uh, John Fox, Future Flash, or something like that, I think uh, most uh, most comic most people familiar with uh, the character would understand that uh, this is the character that you're recreating. So, if you want to recreate John Fox, your best bet is to try to recreate the original classic look uh, look of the character. Although the, the look he had in the 90s that you see to the right, uh, that one is close enough also to the character. And he was called uh, John Fox because of two writers who, who worked on The Flash in like the 40s. It was John for John Broom, and it was Fox for Gardner Fox. Uh, and Gardner Fox also was uh, a co-creator for the Flash character, for the original Flash character that was uh, Jay Garrick. Not sure if he was involved in recreating uh, Barry Allen. It's been a while. I would have to look it up. So that's uh, pretty much it for our friend uh, John Fox, the Future Flash. Some of you guys have been asking uh, about this character for some time, so I finally got around to to making it, making this video. As you saw, I had I had these these armories set up for quite a while, but sadly, the the last two version, I was hoping to be able to get maybe something better to try to recreate the look of the, the Flash from uh, DC 1 million, but sadly these are about as close as I was able to get. So using the V-suit, you can pretty much create a pretty good uh, version of our friend John Fox, the Flash. So that's going to be it for now guys, so as always, thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.